The risks of an arc flash are hard to comprehend on paper, but when you see one happen in front of you, those risks are undeniable. What is an arc flash? An arc flash is a hazardous release of energy that's caused when electricity that should be inside the wire gets outside the wire, is, is a little bit of a simple way to put it, but now you have ionized air and plasma, and along with that, a shock wave or pressure wave, and any shrapnel that pressure wave might be pushing, and molten metal at 1900 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter, all of that coming at you at once. Westex, a flame-resistant and arc flash rated fabric manufacturer, recently held a demonstration day in Toronto. Westex's technical director, Scott Margolin, says anyone who works on or near energized electrical parts should be aware of arc flash. These things project. The energy comes out of the arc gap, particularly in industrial gear as opposed to in up a pole, uh, open air, spherical arc. So the plasma is going to come out. The molten metal is going to go seven, eight, nine meters in all directions, 180 degrees around the equipment that's faulted. Uh, the pressure wave is going to come out as well. So the hazard is not just to somebody within a half a meter or a meter of the thing, it's to anybody within four or five or six meters, depending upon the energy level and what just blew up. Understanding how to protect yourself begins with understanding how arc flashes are measured. An arc rating is the amount of calories that a fabric can block with a 50% likelihood of sustaining a second degree burn through it. So what an arc rating does is using the apparatus behind us but with panels instead of mannequins so that they're flat fabric panels. Three panels in each arc, seven arcs, gives you 21 data points and the computer then measures the 50% probability. In the case of this fabric it's 8.7 calories and that becomes your arc rating. Knowing the arc flash hazard of a piece of equipment allows for better protection. Simply wearing flame resistant clothing is no longer enough. If you know the arc flash hazard is let's say nine calories, then an eight calorie shirt isn't sufficient. Eight is less than nine, you need to layer up. If you know the arc is six calories, an eight calorie shirt is just fine. So this idea of matching the hazard to the protection is, is relatively new in, in arc flash. Arc rated clothing achieves two things. Number one is for the fabric not to ignite and continue to burn when the heat source is removed. The second thing that you want that fabric to do is once it's, you've gotten to the point where it doesn't ignite, now you'd like it to insulate you as well from whatever hazard you face so that not only is your burn not made worse by ignition, but also you're not burned at all because it's insulating you against that hazard. Scott warns people not to confuse arc rated clothing with flame resistant clothing. All arc rated clothing is flame resistant. It has to be flame resistant just to get in the test apparatus. But not all flame resistant clothing has been arc rated by the apparatus. There are in the neighborhood of 30,000 arc flashes in the US and Canada combined on an annual basis. This results in 7,000 injuries to paid professional electricians. Scott says this is one every 15 minutes in a regular 40 hour work week. Of those 7,000 injuries, 2,000 of them will result in hospitalization and 250 of them will result in death. In order to prevent this from happening, people need to be informed. The arcs are going to happen. People make mistakes. Equipment ages. Things fail. Conductive dust causes a lot of these. But when the arcs happen, the consequences do not need to be fatal or catastrophic injury. That part is avoidable by simply not working hot if you don't have to. And if you're going to choose to, recognize and dress to the hazard in arc rated flame resistant clothing.